Pain Calculator, an innovative AI solution to expedite pain research and assess pain responses in laboratory mice. It is very time consuming to manually measure pain responses to stimuli through noting changes in a mouse's facial features. Looking at the pain response of a mouse in multiple images to develop statistical reliability can take hours. Therefore, researchers have proposed software applications for this task, but they have failed to incorporate mice with different fur colors due to the changes in contrast between the mouse and the background. This makes it difficult to apply experimental results to humans or even other strains of mice. These software applications have another problem. They score mice on a binary or limited scale. Pain is a gradient, so slight changes in facial features corresponding to minimal amounts of pain will go undetected. Additionally, manual pain assessment is left up to interpretation, which introduces bias and subjectivity. My solution is Pain Calculator, an open source website for all pain researchers to freely use, applicable to all strains of mice, objectively evaluates pain, and introduces a non-binary scoring system. In order to arrive at an accurate pain assessment using only video frames, I first needed an image classification model to sort frames into what I call good and bad frames. Good frames constitute those in which the mouse's eye, ear, and body are visible and it is oriented parallel to the camera. The bad frames are everything else. If the mouse is not oriented parallel to the camera, the size of its features may be subject to perspective distortion. Good frames are passed to the object detection and pose estimation models, where the size or position of the body, eye, and ear is detected. First, I had to procure and annotate images of mice for my dataset. Thanks to the help from the Simone Laboratory, I was able to gather over 2,000 images. Then, I sorted these images into good and bad frames for the image classification model. For 447 frames, I labeled the mouse's eye and body using CBAT. Then, I placed key points at the mouse's nose, ear canal, and tip of its ear to determine ear rotation. My image classification model was based on ResNet 50. Residual networks tend to perform well for complex image classification because they can learn intricate patterns without losing information across their many layers. I used the Yolo V8 OBB model to more accurately detect the size of the mouse's eye and body with rotated bounding boxes. I used Raytune to fine-tune hyperparameters and applied various data augmentations to ensure real-world applicability. I used the Yolo V8 pose model to detect ear position. As supported by various articles and evidenced by the mouse grimace scale, a hunched body posture, squinting of the eye, and increased rotation of the ear away from the face is indicative of a painful response. This is a plot of the body, eye, and ear detections of a mouse before and after a painful stimulus was given. The white boxes represent the mouse before and the gray boxes represent the mouse after. Hunched body posture or larger body height relative to width, eye squinting, and greater ear rotation was detected when the mouse was in pain, which perfectly aligns with the grimace scale and past literature. While I haven't finished translating the user interface into JavaScript, HTML, and CSS yet, here is the user interface design. So this is what the user sees as soon as they open the website. It just gives you a brief overview of the website, how to use it, and its purpose. Then once they log in or sign up, they are brought to this page. So this shows all the past experiments that they've conducted, as well as gives the user an option to start a new experiment. So if they decide to start a new experiment, they are prompted to upload a baseline video or before the painful stimulus. And then once that is uploaded, then they can upload a video after the experiment or once the painful stimulus is given and then compare the results before and after. So here is the video that I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, it's a four minute long video of a mouse. And so I'm going to plug that into my software. And so this is a bit of a long process because it, all the images in the video have to pass through three AI models. And so I'm gonna be speeding this up just to show you what happens at the end. But as you can see, right now it is splitting the video into frames. So as we can see, a four minute long video split into four frames per second, then each of those frames passed through the three AI models takes around four minutes and 30 seconds. Then if we look here, we can see the results of the models. 
So here the body and eye are detected and each of the frames classified as good frames. And then here the ear position is detected. So if we open up the CSV file, we can see all the results translated here. So this shows the frame number along with the body value, which is the height of the bounding box divided by the width, the eye value, which is the height of the bounding box divided by the width, and the ear, which is the rotation with respect to the nose and radiance. And then here you can see the median for all three metric. And so I only inputted one video, but if you inputted a video of baseline or before the pain stimuli and after, you could compare these results to see if there was a painful response.